When you're working on a shared spreadsheet and you try to sort the data to make it easier for you to decipher, you can also affect how it's viewed for other people who are on the shared spreadsheet at the same time. But there's a way around this and I'm going to show you what that is. So whatever tab you have access to, go ahead and make sure you've selected that tab. Then come up here to the Select All box. This box in the upper left-hand corner is actually called the Select All box because when you click it, it selects all of your data for you. Then come and select Data and create a filter. That gives you these three little lines for each column. And what that does is that allows you to filter your data by whichever one of these conditions or whichever status you want to view your data. So you can use all of them or you can hit clear and you can select whichever status you want to look at. So if I select positive home test and then scroll down and click OK, I'm only going to see the students who have the status of positive home test. Or I can click the filter button again and I can switch to a different status and I can see anybody who is on the quarantine mask status. And so on and so on. The nice thing about this is while I'm switching this around, oh, I forgot to turn off my previous status. While I'm switching this around to make it easier for me to look at, I'm not affecting anyone else who's on the spreadsheet at the same time. They're still seeing it the exact same way they always have. Then when I'm finished, I can just go ahead and turn it off. Whoops, that's over here. I can go ahead and remove that filter and the data goes back the way it was. I've not affected anybody else who's on the shared spreadsheet at the same time, but I made it easier to see what I needed to see. If you have any questions about this, please call me or email me. I'm happy to help, and I hope you found this useful.